today we're going to be talking about genetics. How they affect your physique. I think bodybuilding is the only sport where you can work as hard as you possibly can. Work harder than anyone else in the room and still come up short compared to someone that has superior genetics to you. Sounds horrible, but it's just the harsh truth. I feel like we all have that friend that doesn't have to diet. They train three to four times a week. Have a six six pack, some cap delts. Over here, you're training perfectly the whole way. Delts are just not growing. You just don't have the abs. Well, your abs shape is off your genetics. Look at Ronnie Coleman. Look at Arnold. Look at their ab difference. Ronnie Coleman has like this massive gap in his stomach, has basically a four pack, and then this Arnold with like the perfect six pack. A lot of people that are influencers and personal trainers don't want to admit this because most of them have good genetics. Like in my aspect, I have great ab genetics. You know how much I hit abs? Never. I just have great ab genetics. They show even when I'm bulked up. So everyone has a weak point and everyone has a strong point genetically. Like for me, I genetically have a lot better of a chest and my genetic weak point is my back and my delts. My legs grow super fast and my chest grows super fast. I actually neglect hitting chest and legs because of that reason. That's why knowing your genetics is so important so you have a proper training split. Genetics affect everything. Even the muscle belly shape, where it's inserted, or the insertions of your muscle. For example, some people have really high quad insertions and it looks really unesthetic because your legs don't look as big. You can have birth given hips and you can have a small waist. Small waist will make you look way more aesthetic, make the V taper look better. And then chest genetics. If you have Alex Eubank chest insertions or if you got some massive gap in your chest, makes it look really unesthetic. That is all genetics. You cannot train your inner chest to get rid of a gap. You either just gotta say thank you to your parents or give your parents the bird. And if you're light skin, you better be grateful for those genetics.